In this day and age, it's harder than ever to know where the line is when it comes to comedy. So I'm attempting to answer that question. Welcome to Crossing the Line. <laughs> Women's voices are being heard more than ever before, but have women become a protected species? Where is the line when making jokes about women? Myself and a team of writers have put together a set list to answer that very question. The jokes will be performed to a group of everyday Australians by a man. Not me though. I'm only man enough to watch the live feed. There's a stereotype that women are emotional and irrational, but you should never tell that to a woman because they're emotional and irrational. <laughs> <laughs> We got a smile out of him. You're being more emotional than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that was so interesting. He looked at her, she said it's true, and then he laughed. Not that funny at all. Is <laughs> that even funny? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. This is brilliant. <laughs> all right, okay. Next. <sighs> all right, okay, next. 80% of suicides are men. And women say that's because men are weak. Well, men and women attempt the same amount of suicides. Just seems like men get the job done. <laughs> and that's sad, but it does explain why men get paid more. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Seems pretty interesting. Thanks for the statistics. That's bad. <laughs> but it's still good. Sounds like good. Because you're a man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't want to go there. <sighs> I don't get that one. What's we'll there not to get? It's not clever or good. Anyway, oh. next. Okay. They're like an old married couple. Say what you want about oh, men. Oh, get it now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Say what you want about men, but the Me Too movement would be pretty lame without us. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> That's a low <laughs> blow. I mean, it's true. That's true. Oh, no, she got that one. Yes, here, here. Okay. <laughs> would be lame because we need the abuse. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I've got to control myself. I'm next to a lady. Woman. Yes. <laughs> Get it right. Skinny women are sick of being sexualized and fat women just want to feel sexy. But on behalf of men, we want women of all shapes and sizes to just shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 Okay. How about women want men just to shut the fuck up <laughs> and stop insulting us? <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> um, they can also shut the fuck up. Oh my. <laughs> oh, call a doctor. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble. I know it, I know it. We need to have them together in every episode. Oh, I want to laugh so much in somewhere today. But for me, I think there's just a, an element of power and difference that goes on with these jokes. Maybe he's seen that some of the other people are laughing at the jokes and he feels excluded. I'm not, I'm not sure. I was speaking to a feminist recently. She said she loves all cultures. And I said, that's great. Because we here in this office love rape culture and you're going to fit right in. Oh. <laughs> That's bad. That's very naughty. <laughs> She's laughing though. Mm, no comment. She's kind of giggling though. None of these jokes are even slightly or mildly funny. They're just insulting. So anyone that thinks they're funny, I really... Uh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> that last one's borderline, but those first few were just gold. Borderline? <laughs> last one is totally unacceptable. They all are. But the last one is just off the hook. 
you know, I'm the comment. Oh, don't tell me there's more. <laughs> Get it over with. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. And then they complain. That's the best one yet. But then they complain because you're too quick. That's what she said. <laughs> These two need to start a YouTube channel just reacting to comedy. So a lot of women say men can't multitask and that's simply not true. I mean, I can be looking out for witnesses and at the same time, listen to a schoolgirl cry. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, that's a bit full on. I'm still laughing at the other joke. That's all. <laughs> that school girl thing's not right. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right and he's laughing. <laughs> it's just said to wind you up. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with you on that one. Mm. That last one is meant to be too far. Okay. All right, hey guys. Hey. Good to see you again. Raise your hand if you didn't find any of the jokes funny. Okay. <laughs> Am I the only one? No. Yeah. no I, I'm, I'm with oh, you. Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. Dee, what didn't you find funny about the jokes? I don't think it's funny to insult people and then expect that to be intelligent humour. And I'm a woman, but if it was against anything else that, was, that wasn't affecting me, I, I still wouldn't find it a funny either because it's attacking somebody. Yeah, interesting. So, uh, Sonia and Sahar, you both uh, found some of the jokes funny? Yeah, some of them funny, some I didn't get. How would you respond to, to what Dee said? It didn't bother me. I, I sort of at the beginning went, oh, no, it's going to be targeted at women now. Yeah. And being a woman, that didn't really offend me because I know where I, who I am and what I believe in. It is sort of true, some of the stuff. So it's good to get it out. It doesn't offend me at all. Okay. Not one bit. What I found really interesting was Sonia, Sahar and Mariella, the first joke about the play on the stereotype of women being emotional and irrational. Well, yeah. You all sort of had some sort of uh, response that was like, oh, that's kind of true. It is true. I am emotional and irrational. <laughs> I am. Okay. What's so weird about... That's uh, probably the only one I could relate to a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. But, you know, men can be emotional and rational yeah. as well. Oh, we but we're just know. talking yes. about so women today. Forget so. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Benny and Jordan, you were both uh, listening to the jokes with a woman beside you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did that affect your reactions? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, for the most part, um, sitting next to a woman hearing those jokes um, when she said you know, it was okay or you could laugh kind of thing, mm -hmm. then I felt like it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess that it, it did make a difference. And Didn't to Benny. Um, yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. it, it hit that nerve with me that I could relate to so hard that it wouldn't have mattered if the room was full of women. I couldn't have held back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, like, some of those things were just like, Yep, and even my missus is going to agree. Yep, yeah, I can see why you laughed. I mean, I'm going to cop it, but she'll still understand why I, I reacted the way I did. Okay. <laughs> and, and how did you feel seeing uh, Benny's reaction when you were sitting next to him? Like that's typical of <laughs> uh, a lot of Australian men, I guess. Yeah. Um, I wasn't really overly surprised. Mm -hmm. Now, Dale, there was a, some pretty interesting reactions from you. First of all, the, the one that I found really engaging was that you said you wanted to laugh, but you couldn't laugh. Yeah, yeah. Why, why is it that you said that? Comedy has a way of normalising um, in the public's mind certain behaviour. And so when we, when we talk about, when we joke about, you know, sexism or racism um, or homophobia in our nation, um, it's problematic for me. Um, I just can't sort of switch that off. Mm. At the same time, I want comedians to be able to thrive. Mm. But for me, with that comes a social responsibility. Sure. But the, the, only, the only problem I see with that, I understand where you're coming from, but the problem I see is if you're a comedian and you go on stage in front of 400 people and one person's offended, do you hold back because of that one person or do you carry on to entertain the 399? This world of political correctness and people being offended, it's killing the, the Aussie larrikinism and, and the humour that we do have. To me, it seems that 
it's getting too serious. It's like you walk mm. on eggshells all the time. Right. You, you don't, don't know want to. Everything you say yeah. could could impact something or someone. That's right. Or, or but but I don't think it, the right? Aussie larrikinism kind of uh, comedic humour in Australia yeah. is endangered. I, I think. <laughs> no. I think what I think <laughs> what is endangered, um, you know, are the vulnerable persons that happen to be the uh, the punchline. Mm. And I think as a society, we do need to just hold that. Uh, Comedy is a place that should be balm for the soul. People should be able to like come in from work and, and you know sit down and watch a show and not feel like they're being attacked because it happens it happens enough in real life. Once again a very uh, interesting discussion <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. Great. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. Well, the women had very different opinions about which jokes crossed the line, but most of the people here thought jokes about rape were off limits. Make sure you subscribe, don't forget to check out our other episodes, and thanks so much for watching. <laughs>